So everyone, absolutely everyone's asking me, am I going to, you know, going to be reviewing Fate, Fate, uh, Fate Apocrypha? And they're asking if I'm going to be reviewing, was it Kake Guri, I think it is pronounced? It's the one where uh, they have, you know, they have these strategy games against one another and everyone can see the other one as a slave or whatever. So, I have so many things going on. I've had so many things going on this weekend, first and foremost. Now, I did get Token Rambu out, and that, I, who cares? I, I'm reviewing that, right? So, Kake Guri, am I going to be reviewing it? I don't know. I really don't know if I'm going to be doing that one. But Fate Apocrypha. That's one that I'm absolutely don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I, I've i always wanted to do a Fate series. I've always wanted to catch up to the Fate series. Haven't had time reviewing eight shows, you know, together, you know, during a week. I just haven't, you know, that's on my backlog so far. And there's so many things I'd have to do just to catch up with that franchise. But Fit Apocrypha, I cannot pass up this opportunity. I'm having an opportunity to reset. I'm diving into it. I don't care if Netflix has it. I don't care about when fan subs come out. I'm doing it. I'm doing Fate Apocrypha. And, I mean, and that's... I mean, I know some people, like... You know, it's going to be... It may be hectic. Hey, you should see my schedule. Trust me. People who watch, like, 14 episodes of anime... Or 14 different anime a week. I've heard some people doing 11. I've done that. And I'm also reviewing them. And trust me, watching a show and reviewing a, reviewing a show is much more harder. You know, watching and or reviewing eight shows a week is 15 times more harder and more difficult to get to other things. Whenever you're even, you know, compared to someone who's watching 14. If they're watching 14 and not reviewing, trust me, it's not as hard. Trust me. <sighs> reviewing, reviewing is taxing. It really is. It can be really taxing because sometimes you really want to watch a show as a fan. And that's something that a lot of people don't understand. And I, I, I've been, I've reviewed shows say I wish I could just watch this as a fan. But at the same time, I don't want to watch it as a fan because I want to review it. You know, it's something that's really conflicting, right? But nonetheless, I've always wanted to jump into the Fate franchise. I'm doing it now. I'm not hesitating. I'm going for it. There's no reason not to. It'd be stupid of me. It'd be a dumbass decision on my part if I did. And this is all my grandma's stuff in the background. Sorry about that. But <laughs> this is... There's no way. Be, I would look. Like I'd be an idiot. I'd be an idiot because really, this is you know honestly one of the biggest moments of my reviewing career because I'm finally being able to watch. You know, going to be able to watch a franchise I've heard so much about, a series I've heard so much about. Given this is technically a new series, but it's still fate nonetheless, right? So I would be an idiot to not review it. So I'm reviewing it. It'll be out later tonight and or tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully. Hopefully I can get it out tomorrow, early as possible. Don't know about Kakiguri. I may wait to watch the first three episodes and then hop on that. Because Fate Stage, 20, 24 episodes, I, I'm reviewing it, dude. I, there's, there's no reason I can't review Fate. There's no reason, no. No, no. I want to get in this series so bad. But as always, guys, you guys have been the hacks. Be sure to leave a like. Come subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. Whew, and be sure to uh, stay tuned. Go If you have not checked out my Token Rambu uh, anime review, go check it out. Go do it. It's a really good show. It's going to be hard to beat that first episode. Uh, but I I've heard Fate's already starting off on a great foot. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Anyone pictures is handling the new Fate series. So I'm even more hyped, I guess.